Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I wash and style my hair with having extensions in. I thought this video would be really interesting to show you guys how exactly I take care of my hair and my extensions. I'll also be showing you guys what products I use to keep my hair nice and healthy and to prevent it from breakage and heat damage. So if you guys are interested on how I wash and style my hair, then just keep on watching. So before we get in the shower, I like to comb out my hair completely with a wet brush and this is going to help make combing out a lot easier after you wash it. And I like to start from the bottom and work my way up very carefully. Also the type of hair extensions I have installed are called the braidless sew-in. They're also called the natural beaded row hair extensions. So this is the shampoo and conditioner I'm using today. The shampoo is the Olaplex number no. 4 and then the conditioner is the Gold Lust from Orbe. So what's nice about Olaplex is that you don't need that much product. So I like to start with a small amount and start applying it in my scalp. And usually my hair is super dirty. I do wash my hair once a week. So by the time I wash it, it's super greasy. So I do have to add just a little bit more to make it very lathery and soapy. And when having hair extensions, make sure you're using your hands horizontally to really get in there as you can see, just to really get the shampoo in there and make all your in-between extensions nice and clean. So for conditioner, I am actually using a hair mask, so I like to apply it from mids to ends and whatever is left on my hands, I just like to lightly put it right over the top of my head and as well as a little bit underneath where there is some damage. So now I'll just let the hair mask sit for about 5-10 to 10 minutes while I finish in the shower and then I will rinse. So once I get to the shower, I do like to towel dry my hair pretty good just to make sure there's no excess moisture still in my hair, especially in my hair extensions. So before I detangle my hair, I do like to add a primer, which is kind of like a detangler as well. And the one I'm using is from Orbe and it's called Run Through. And another favorite of mine is the BB Hairdressers Invisible Oil. These primers are going to help with detangling. They also do have heat protectant and UV protectant in it. Also, they do have some oils in it, so it's really going to help hydrate your hair if your hair is a little bit more on the drier side. So once I'm done detangling, I like to apply a thickening treatment right on my scalp. And this is the one from Orbe, and it's from the Serene Scalp line. And I've already talked about this in a previous hair care video, which I will link down below. And I swear by this product. If you have thin hair, breakage, or damage, this will make your hair grow and get thicker. So I like to apply this and then just rub it in into my scalp. So typically I like to let my hair air dry about 75-80% to 80 before I actually go in and use heat on my hair. So in the meanwhile I like to apply some makeup or I'll just clean the house, do something for about an hour, and then I like to go ahead and blow dry. Obviously if you don't have the time to let your hair air dry about 80% then you can go ahead and kind of power dry your hair with your blow dryer to make sure it's about 80% dry and then you can go in and smooth it out with a brush. Letting your hair air dry for a good amount of time before you go ahead and blow dry is really good because you're using the least amount of heat on your hair. And I'm just doing my quick five minute makeup routine before I head out and run errands. If you guys are interested on how I achieve this really quick makeup look, then just let me know and I can make a video about it for you guys. So 
So by the time I'm done with my makeup routine, even if it's a five minute makeup routine or a full glam before work, I will go ahead and pick out an outfit for the day or just finish doing errands around the house and then I will go ahead and style my hair after. So before I blow dry, I like to apply a very lightweight cream and this is the Orbe Feather Balm Weightless. I like it because it's lightweight and it adds a little bit of shine and smooths out my ends. And I also like to go in with the Orbe Split End Treatment. I like to do this wet and dry just to help seal those split ends. So I'm just splitting my hair in half and I like to do one half of my hair first and then finish the next half after. So I like to take a big section from the back and with a big brush or you can use a wet brush if it's blow dry safe. And I like to go ahead and just roughly kind of smooth out my hair. I like to go in a side angle with the brush and then once it's kind of almost dry then I like to smooth it kind of down with the brush as you will see in a minute. If you've never blow dried your hair before, it is going to take some practice for you to get used to, especially um, kind of holding the tools together and trying to get it right. So don't get frustrated if you don't get it the first time. It is going to take some practice. If you are a beginner, I would highly recommend getting the Revlon blow dry brush that you can get from Amazon. A lot of my clients use it and they love it. They say it's a lot easier than a tr traditional blow dry. So if you are a beginner, I would actually recommend that. But if you're not and you are familiar with using a blow dryer, then you should be good. Um, I actually low-key want to try the Revlon blow dry brush. I've heard it's amazing, so that's one of my recommendations. Once I'm finished with the back section, then I like to work on the front and I like to split it in half because it's just easier and I can really get in there and dry it. So as you can see here, I'm still doing that downward motion with the brush and then to really get in the roots, I like to go at an angle with the brush as well. If you have tape and extensions, please be careful on how much heat you're putting on your root because if you put too much heat directly on the tape and extension, the tape will end up melting and you're going to face slip outs or just tapes getting all gooey and nasty, which is going to be harder to remove. So just be mindful of that. And because I have the braidless sew-in, I don't have to worry about that. I can actually put direct heat on my scalp. So if you do have tape ins, just be careful. When blow drying the front of my hair, I like to make sure I'm going in a downward motion for most of the time, just to prevent it from frizz and also to help with the little baby hairs so they don't stick up most of the time. So now I'm just doing the same thing I did on the other half of my hair, making sure you're going in a downward motion for most of the time and making sure everything is nice and dry.
Once I'm done blow drying my hair, I like to go ahead and just take my fingers and do another kind of rough blow dry, especially right in my roots, just to make sure that everything is completely dry. And that completes my wash and style. You can finish it off with a little bit of oil on the ends, but since I like to wash my hair once a week, I just try to avoid adding any more products in my hair. Alrighty, so that completes how I wash and style my hair. Hopefully this video was interesting or helpful for you guys. If anyone has hair extensions and just need some guidance on how to take care of your hair extensions with your root hair as well. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to your girl to help her out. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. <laughs> Oogie. Say hi. Of course, my little, oh.